Mr. Chris Everham. Maganda no maga sa inyo lahat. Kumusta kayo? If you good, say yeah. yeah. If you good, say yeah. yeah. I can't hear you one more time. Yeah. Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, please come to the center of the stage. Stand up, please. Stand up, stand up. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on to the center of the stage. We're gonna here. Come on down. Let's Come on down. DJ, make some noise. Come on in. Come on in. Yeah. I want you here. I want you here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on in. Don't be shy. Come on in. Come on in. Everyone. of you watch life go by. Now that's a serious statement. Okay, in life we can be scared, we're unsure, but in life you should take risks, you should continue to take risks and get involved. Okay, let's have a photo.
Thank you, darling. Life's too short to watch it go by, okay? And 50% of you watch life go by. Life's about dancing and getting involved. Don't wait until it's over. Right, ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing? We good? Yeah. How much difference is the energy in this room? Just from that little dance there. Was it good? Yeah. Can you feel the change? Could you feel the change? If you could, say aye. Aye. Good. Very good. Today we're going to be talking about peak performance, but before that, I just want to introduce myself. I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Chris Everingham. I'm Chris. How you doing? And to count of three, I would love to hear your name. Ready? One, two, three, tell me your name. Hello. Hello. My name is Chris, you also play for the Philippine Volcanoes. But today I will be your health professional. Okay, so as uh, Lucky and John said, I'm a, uh, a dietitian, I'm a personal trainer, I'm the National Strength and Conditioning Coach for the Philippine Volcanoes, uh, for about five of the national teams. So I'm very busy, very busy person. But I've been able to help individuals over the last 12 years with their health and fitness. And it's been an amazing time. It's an amazing time. I've helped, I've probably helped hundreds of people now with very simple things like weight loss, a little bit more complex things like diabetes, cardiovascular disease, post heart attack, athletes, Olympians. I've done a lot now. But the main thing is not about the, the big people, the, the superstars or the super athletes, it's about you guys. How can I help you? How can I help each one of you? That's what I'm here to do now. And as I said at the start, life is about taking risks. So if any time you want to ask a question, please put your hand up. Ask me a question. Okay? Okay, Bella? He's my friend. For some of you, I may never see you again. This is it. So let's make the most of this, shall we? Yeah? If you'd like to make the most of it, say yeah! Beautiful. All right. First off, I need to know, bakit na mitoka? What's your name? Ma. Ma. Mr. Kayo. Uh, 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 okay. Okay, 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 why are you here today? Thank you. Thank you for coming. Okay. So people like Mark, everyone here today, what I want you guys to do, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, Mark. Well, what, I, what I would love for you to do, I just want you to close your eyes for me. Just a little bit. You begin a matter. And I want you to, just, just for two minutes for you, you don't have any life, life threatening emails you need to send. 
Just for two minutes, that's all I need. Close your eyes. And I want you to sit upright so you can breathe. Ideally, sit on the edge of your seat. As you're sitting there on the edge of your seat, listening to my voice, there will be a lot of thoughts going through your mind. The airplane flies over the top. The air conditioning is blowing wind. You can feel the seat. you're sitting there, I want you to start to think about why you're here. Deep down inside, something inside you led you to be here. Maybe family. Or maybe that deep desire to be better. Maybe because you want to be healthy, energetic. Why are you here? As you focus on those, those moments, all those people, all that feeling. I want you to relive it as if it is real already. What does it look like? What can you hear? How does it feel? Now with that feeling, I want you to, to bring your hands up and grab onto it. Grab that image and just grab it. Slowly compress it into a ball in front of you. to a tennis ball. And then slowly push that into your heart. And hold that there. that exercise right. Uncle Samoa. If you really 
took the time to do that activity, it is here in your heart already. Whenever you find you're struggling, Ma, Bella, when you find the times over here, Rab, so Ram Talaga, it's here. God's not going to give you what you want. Because that wouldn't be fun. He's going to give you some challenges, some struggles. He's going to give you decisions to make in your life. And each one of us has to go through that journey. Each one of us. I know this because I've done it so many times with every individual that I've come across in their journey. In Australia, hundreds of times. Here, hundreds of times. Already. And even in my own life journey, with the national men's and women's teams, I'm watching their struggles, their journeys, as they go to sea games, as I go to sea games. As I continue to build my website on health and fitness, I'm going through struggles. And what I'm trying to say is, when you have a tough time, look inside and you will find that energy. Who likes that idea? Say I. I. Just remember that. Okay, today we're gonna to go through nutrition and performance, nutrition tips, and then we're gonna finish with an exercise routine. Are you excited? Yes! I can't hear you! Yes! Beautiful. Alright, and we would love, I would love everyone to participate. I would love everyone to participate. If you want to be on the stage, be on the stage. It's your time to shine. If you want to be in the front, be in the front. Don't watch. Life go by. Alright, well we're going to look at nutrition and performance. I like the word performance. It means a lot, it means a lot to me doing our best. This is not even about work. This is about doing your best for you. Who would like to be better? Say I. I. Beautiful. Everyone would be loved to be better. Who would like 10% more energy? Say I. I. Nice. It'd be great, right? If you can do more in less time, that means you have more free time. Or you can spend more time on the things that are important in your life. Who has a hobby? It doesn't come out. Who has a passion? A hobby? Okay, here, put your hands up. Okay, first thing. Write this down. This is your homework. Find a hobby. Find something that you love. There's more to life than work. There's more to life than traffic, TV, and bills. Your first homework is to find a passion. Find a desire. Find something you love. You came here for nutrition, right? I'm giving you life advice. Okay, so, nutrition and performance, we need to start with what we love, what we desire, why are we here, and then we build from that. Once we have a reason to be better, once we have a reason to live, we can start working on our health.
The first thing with health is BMI. Does anyone know what BMI is? Yell it out. Beautiful. Beautiful. Body mass index. Who, who had their weighing over there with the active link? Lovely ladies. Put your hand up, please. Very nice. If you haven't, please go over there and weigh yourselves so you can identify where you're at. Okay. There's three categories in BMI. Does everyone know what the categories are? What's the first one? Yell it out. You have? Normal. That boss, you have? Overweight. And then you have? Underweight. Beautiful. Okay, so we have three categories. We have three categories. What was the first one? Second one? Huh? And the third one? Underway. Alright. We need to work out where we are. If we don't know where we are, how do we get to where we're going? So we need to do it. If you're in the middle, that's fine. That's good. But we still need to ask questions. Do you exercise? Do you eat healthy? And if you're in the middle, but you don't exercise and you don't eat healthy, and you don't sleep and you don't look after your stress, then you're not healthy. If you're in the overweight section, we need to ask two questions. Do you exercise? Do you eat healthy? And maybe you don't, but maybe you do. If you do, then you will come. You will be able to be fit and healthy very soon. Trust the process, it will happen. If you're not, this is the opportunity to, to start to move. But if you don't know where you are, you don't know where to start. If you don't know where to start, you don't know where to go. If you're underweight, you need to eat more food. And you need to exercise. You need to look after yourself. You need to love yourself. That is the first thing you need to do. Okay, and you start with exercise and nutrition. So guess what? Everyone has to. It's not fat, normal, underweight. It's just a starting point. Where do you start? If you get that, say, I. I. Nice. Nutrition and performance. So nutrition, how does this relate? How does nutrition and BMI relate to work and performance? Does anyone know? Do you know Mark? If I can do my work faster, is that good for you? Of course, you have more free time, <laughs> right? If I can do my work using less energy because I have more energy, is that good for us? Yes? Champagne And then you can spend more time with your family, with your wife, Miyasawa, more time with your kids, Mangana, more time doing your passions and hobbies for the, the few people that have passions and hobbies. Would life be better if we could do that? Say yeah or nah? Yeah? yeah. Of course. 
So performance is so important, not just for work, but also for life. For life as well. Very important. And it's not just for young people, it's for, not just for old people, it's for young people as well. I'm going to go through some tools that you can use to help you to work out how to be healthier. Does that sound good? Okay. So there's some apps. Does anyone use some fitness apps? Anyone use? What do you use? Fitbit? What else do you use? Sorry? Nike Run, beautiful. Fitbit, Fitness Pro. Sorry? Map My Run. Okay, so write those down. Nike Run, Map My Run, Fitbit. You're not writing. Please write those apps down. Fitbit. Do you like that app, Fitbit? Yep. Yeah, it's everything. The three shots are awake, even sleeping at least. It's covered. It's covered. So beautiful. What about Map My Run? Do you like that one, darling? What can you say about it? Um, it, it records uh, my progress. Distance. Distance, calories. Great. So we have things that we can use to help us with exercise and measuring calories as well. The next one, calorie counters. I don't have it here, but I have a book that I use because I'm old school. I have a book and it has all the protein, fat, carbohydrates, sugar, salt in that book. And it's called Calorie Counter. You can get it at a national bookstore if you like books. If you don't like using apps, you can use a book. For some people, that's fine. I like it because it's real, I can feel it. Food groups, who, who knows the food groups? What's the first one? The first one is? Glow. Glow, right? What's the next one? Grow, grow, right? And the last one is? It is? Go! Alright, so it's the three. Write those down. What are go foods? Carbohydrates, thank you, and carbs. Beautiful. What else is a go food? Any others? Fat. Yes, wait there. Next group. Grow. What are foods? Protein, tapos. Okay, protein. So, meat, fish, eggs, nuts, dairy. Good. And the final group? Glow foods. Boogie foods. Okay, so anong pagkain, anong anong foods? Vegetables, fruits. So you know it already. I didn't need to teach you. Portion sizes and serving sizes. Does anyone know the difference between a portion and a serve? <laughs> Snack size, fun size, matchbox size, okay. So a portion is what you get. 
So if you're at the buffet, is the buffet there? Portion. Portion. Right? So anything. Bahala nasi that man. That's what I call it. And then you have serving sizes, which are standardized serves based on what you say, or what your what science is and what you need, sorry. Okay, so we have portion sizes, which are Bahala Nasi Batman, good luck, you can eat that, come what may. And then we have serving sizes, which are standardized. All right, have a look at your fist for me. Have a look at your fist. Put it in the middle of your table and connect with all your, your friends. Have a look at their fists. Who's got the big fist? Who's got the small fist? <laughs> you have the big fist. Each person has their own. Okay. Each person has their own serving sizes. Here. It's your hand. Each person has their own serving sizes. Put your fist here. Put your fist here. That is the size of your stomach. Who eats more than their stomach size? Love it. Love it. So I want you to think about that when you're eating food. Now, there are two foods that I would love to focus on. Can I, can I teach you two foods that you must eat? Around the world, not just in the Philippines, around the world, there are two food groups that people don't eat. Do you know what they are, Mark? Huh? Are they glow foods? Are they grow foods? Or are they go foods? Glow foods. Glow foods. Two foods that you need to eat. Fruits and vegetables. If you can go, go away with one thing today, it's to eat more fruits and vegetables. So write that down. More fruits, more vegetables. Ilan? Ilan fruits. Okay, put one fist up. Then put the other one up. Do many back here for me. Right, one, two. That's how many fruit you need to eat. One, two. You need to eat two. Two fists, two hands, two fruits. How big is a serving size for fruit? Your fist. What fruit can fit in your fist? Kuya. Apple. Apple, beautiful. Arong fruit. Watermelon. What, what kind of fruit can you eat? How many pomelos fit in my fist? Half. Beautiful. What else can we eat? One orange. What else can we eat? One pear. What else can we eat? Queer. Watermelon. Okay. Durian. How many durian can you eat in your fist? 
One, how big is your fist? <laughs> One durian? Small durian. How many strawberries? Depends how big your fist is. If you have a small fist, eat three. If you have a big fist, eat five. Okay? How many watermelons are we gonna eat? Look at your look at your hand. Go like that. See that slice? That's one slice. And that, your whole hand, that's one serve. Makes it easy? Easy? Okay, so you have two serves you must eat every day. Every day. Arau, arau. Okay, the next thing you need to eat is vegetables. Ilang gulay. Ilang mga gulay. Five is the old minimum, so it's six now. So what we're going to do is put your fists up for me. Okay, chop it in half. So now you have two serves. Two, four, and then six. You have to do one, two, three. Right, left, right, left. Six serves of vegetables every day. What kind of vegetables fit in my fist? How much kangkong can you eat here? 